U.S. officials admit Afghanistan fell much quicker than they anticipated. Now, President Biden addressing the situation as the U.S. scrambles to evacuate American civilians and Afghan allies. Natalie Brand has more details from the White House. President Biden returned to the White House from Camp David Monday, speaking publicly for the first time since the Taliban takeover of Afghanistan. This did unfold more quickly than we had anticipated. So what's happened? Afghanistan political leaders gave up and fled the country. The Afghan military collapsed. The U.S. has already deployed 2,500 troops to help evacuation efforts, and that number could go as high as 6,000. The Pentagon says at least two people were shot when thousands of Afghan civilians rushed the airport trying to escape the country. A spokesman says up to 5,000 people per day can be evacuated. We have actually been working to evacuate thousands and thousands of Americans over time. Now it's about determining who is left uh, and who didn't heed those warnings along the way. A spokesperson for the U.S. general in charge of evacuation says he met face to face with Taliban officials, warning them not to interfere with the evacuation efforts. We will defend our people with devastating force if necessary. President Biden says he is standing firm on his decision to pull the U.S. out of Afghanistan. After 20 years, I've learned the hard way that there was never a good time to withdraw U.S. forces. But there is bipartisan concern the withdrawal could create a new terrorist safe haven. There is increased danger of attack on this country. We need to have a very serious look now at how we're going to, in fact, conduct counterterrorism operations around the world. The president has ordered national security officials to make sure the U.S. can address future threats from Afghanistan. Governor Ralph Northam issued a statement on Twitter as the Taliban takes control in Afghanistan. Talking about welcoming Afghan citizens last week, Northam said in part, quote, we're ready and willing to take thousands more. Virginia will continue to serve as safe harbor. 7th District Representative Abigail Spanberger also offering a statement on Afghanistan. She says in part, quote, for months, I have been pressing the administration to bring those who supported the U.S. mission in Afghanistan, including Afghan interpreters and their families, to safety. And I have serious concern for those who will suffer under the Taliban rule, particularly women and girls.